Hi everyone, welcome to another Blender tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to check out more of my Blender tutorials. Lots of people are finding my Google Colab tutorial series really useful at the moment. I show you various ways to speed up your Blender Cycles renders for free using a cloud-based GPU on Google Colab. I'll leave a link in the description to that video. Today's tutorial is actually going to be more like a review, but I wanted to bring your attention to a great free resource for making realistic anatomical or medical renders for your projects. The resource is called Z Anatomy, and it can be downloaded from the link in the description. According to their webpage, the anatomical models are based mainly on the work of the Center for Life Sciences and is basically a full open source atlas of the human anatomy. It's available under the Creative Commons by Attribution Share Alike license, which means you can use it for commercial purposes as long as you cite the original author in your work and any modifications must be licensed under identical terms. To get started, go to the home page and click on the orange button in the top left hand corner. This will download the Z Anatomy zip file containing the Blender scene file. Once downloaded to your computer, unzip the file and inside you'll find a Python script, which you can find more about on the Z Anatomy website. It also has several Blender files. There are a few ways to use this data. The Blender file is quite large, it's about 320 megabytes. According to the Z Anatomy website, they say to simply load the Z Anatomy blend file straight into Blender. In my case, I'm using Blender version 2.93. When you load the Blender file, it can take one or two minutes depending on the type of system that you have. When you load the Blender file, you may get a warning message to say that Blender tried to run a Python script and you can choose to run the script or ignore it. The script is contained within the zip file and gives you access to some shortcut keys while using this Blender scene. I typically choose to ignore it and navigate through the scene myself. You can see the script here on the right with a description of what it does if you want to run it. When you load the scene, you'll see a skeleton appear in the viewport and a whole lot of collections will appear on the right panel. Each of these corresponds to a different system of the human body, such as the skeletal system or cardiovascular system. You can hide or unhide each of these systems depending on your project. You can also delete different systems from the scene collections to speed up your project. You do this by right clicking and saying delete hierarchy to delete the collection and all the associated objects. It's probably best to make a copy of the original Blender file first so you don't permanently delete these objects when you save the file. You can then make each of the different systems visible by right clicking on a system collection and clicking visibility and show all inside. In this case, I've just selected the default skeletal system. I can press the toggle visibility button for the skeletal system and then repeat this process for other systems. For example, if I right click on the nervous system collection and make that visible, you can see the brain, spinal cord and the nerves appear, all with some basic textures. The objects are already textured with some basic textures which you can use to render straight out of the box, but you might want to use your own procedural materials for your own projects. For the skeletal system, it's not bad as is, but for other systems, you definitely need to work on the materials. For your own projects, you can either manually select different collections and delete the ones you don't need for your project, or manually click and delete objects in the viewport, keeping only those which you need. The organs and other anatomy are incredibly detailed and geometrically accurate. I can see so many uses for this free resource, both from an art perspective as well as scientific. If you are struggling to load the entire Blender scene, I recommend loading the individual anatomical regions using the append function in Blender. To do this, load a new Blender scene and press File, Append, and navigate to the unzipped Z Anatomy folder. Double click on the Z Anatomy blend file. My preference is then to go to the collection folder. In here you can see the individual systems and subsystems and you can search for a specific organ. For example, I'll search for the heart and then import the heart collection. As you can see, I now have a heart in my scene. Anyway, that was just a brief overview of this amazing Z Anatomy Blender resource which you can use for your own artistic or scientific projects. I hope you found this quick tutorial useful. Please don't forget to like this video 
and be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of my future Blender tutorials. Until next time, take care.